as you can see now uh, that is a presentation about your mathematical commands and uh, basic rules of Mathematica and uh, what are the built-in functions I have chosen some built-in functions for you uh, that will be useful for your mathematical process for programming or uh, whatever you are if you are uh, in research or in your uh, teaching then you can use these type of built-in functions so let me start for you okay I have already told all these things so whenever you will uh, open your environment you will get menu bar here that's it zooming option is there this is your notebook if you minimize any notebook it will be shown here in the below so that is basically okay here are uh, assistants that is your palettes assistants you can use anyone basic math or classroom or writing assistant depending on your choices I have shown here that these are options not here in classroom that is navigation or keyboard is extra basic assistant and writing assistant both are in classroom so you can use one assistant only in classroom you have all the options so you can use classroom assistant directly okay basic math assistant I have already uh, shown you all these things writing assistant may uh, you can do title cell subtitle cell text cell or item cell like this one and uh, you can color them okay so okay come to the some uh, main main thing so you can do simple calculation now you can see here I have written here in that means you your input each line is different so every time you will uh, give some input you will get the similar line output so that is two plus two that is output will come for as I have already shown you right so now I am teaching you first the how you will write the command what are the meaning and uh, how we will execute and then you can see in Mathematica notebook directly by executing them so for execution you will use shift plus enter or if you want to do new line then just enter so this please remember these two shift enter for execution enter for new line what is the meaning of I in I so that is your I is your line number the same line number will occur in your output whatever line you will give here 2 plus 2 that is first if will it is first then 1 the so 1 will be here if it is 2 then 2 output 2 will be here it is in 3 that is out 3 will be here so that is number helps you to understand which input has some particular output so that is good thing about Mathematica okay so here you are some expression you can use simple calculation like this one okay here is a one function that is n or that is percentile percentile is for previous output for example here previous output is this line output 273 by 2 here so this is your previous just output and if you will put n some this type of square bracket and uh, you will get your this type of answer I will tell you all these uh, some rules how you will write the functions how you will uh, put so I'm not I'm telling not I'm not telling now so that is our for previous output remember this this percentile sign that is for previous output so remember this next some writing this way then you will get output some writing this way you will get some output like this one r is 2 then 2 into pi into r you will get 4 pi x is 3 then x to the power 4 plus x you will get some value so like this one the you that means you can do simple calculation in Mathematica right so that is a uh, uh, basic like your calculator working okay come to the main part the what are the basic rules of Mathematica and how you can use it so uh, these are the basic rule the fundamental rule that you have to learn you have to remember and you have to write your code by following these so the first rule is every symbol so now you can see I am using word symbol so Mathematica has symbols not functions but we call <laughs> as we uh, uh, we are used to call it function so that that's why we call it function but actually Mathematica had symbol right so please uh, be clear about it you can write it symbol or you can write it as function uh, depending on your choice so whichever you comfortable then you can use that word so every symbol start with capital letter that is P is capital if you are writing pi the first letter should be capital every Mathematica symbol has capital letter in the beginning so that is pi P sign S log L exp exponential so E plot that P solve then S so that is your first rule that every letter of any symbol should be capital another one if symbols contain many words then first letter of each word is capital 
so if you are writing find root function or symbol then the find is different word and root is different word so two words are there that's why f and r should be capital so that is the second rule linear programming is there so then l and p are capital plot 3d d is different word so that's why d is capital p is capital n sol n is for numerical s for sol so sol is different word n is different word that's why n or s both are capital so that is the two rules capital and the capital for each word okay if symbol takes input then pass inside square bracket so whenever you are using any symbol or function then you have to put your square bracket just after your name so sign square bracket and your input will go inside it so sign 30 so 30 will be come will be given in the your this square bracket inside of it then log square bracket here then put all the value inside it plot like this one another is values are separated by comma in list or in array or in range whatever you are using list means you have to uh, uh, putting all the data all together let's say two three five so you have to separate it by using comma so this is a fourth rule so use comma whenever you are writing a data uh, in any uh, particular list or in array or in range okay the fifth rule is curly bracket used for list array and range like this one so curly bracket is create a list list means one dimensional you can say uh, a set of elements you can say the set of data you can say that is one comma three comma seven now you can see the comma are uh, separating all these elements one three seven then the curly bracket is there another example is here that is one comma two then curly bracket then comma three comma four then curly bracket then bracket so that is one dimensional that is two dimensional one list is inside of one list so two curly brackets are there that means big curly bracket the outer this one this one and this one are your one dimensional inside of this one you have one dimensional one two and three four two list so that means two dimensional so basically we call it as matrix in mathematics two dimensional are called as your matrix another is range type x value will go from 1 to 10 that is also range so separated by comma and the curly bracket is used so these fives are basic and fundamental rule rule to work in mathematica so capital letter capital letter for each word square bracket for your function or symbol separated by comma all the elements if you are passing the list or curly brackets for list matrices or range so these are the five fundamental if you know it you can work in mathematica easily at every step okay come to the next uh, let's say talk about weak operators so we have some basic mathematical operator uh, you know already all of them uh, plus minus multiple division and some this is cap uh, cap is for power as you use scientific calculator that is power cap okay relational operator is also there you can uh, compare on the elements and by using these operators less than greater than or less than equal to greater than equal to and this is equal to you can see here that is two time equal it's not one time it is two time you have to uh, click uh, two times so that is equal to this operator is called equal to it is not equal next is assignment operator so remember this one time is never we call it equal two times is called as equal to that means equal to is relational operator and this one time is not equal we call it as assignment operator and we call it as assigned so for example uh, as if you are writing a assigning two value so we call it a assign two value not a is equal to two but uh, what we do we we indian or we people use that word mostly that's why we call it as x equal to two y is equal to three and x plus y is something like this one so please be aware that that these two are different equal to is this one not this one in any coding in c or c plus plus in java or mathematica whatever you are coding this is equal to and this is your assignment okay next is your set delete that means you want to assign something but you don't want to work on uh, that particular time after that you want to work so if you have uh, some particular code and you want to execute it after some time depending on your when you are defining some symbol or variable then you will work so that is set delayed the name is set delayed it will delay your execution that's why it call it a set delayed
Another is logical operator that is AND operator. Two times AND O, AND OF operator. Two times your uh, vertical bar that is uh, just above your uh, enter key in your keyboard. Shift on that that particular button will uh, come up with this symbol two times. Not and that is XOR symbol is there. But for XOR there is no symbol. You have to use XOR uh, as a symbol or as a function. Okay, so uh, now you know operator, now you can work like this one. So now you know the n is numerical, n is for numerical value. So whatever previous output, that is percentile, that means whatever previous output you have, that is 273 by 2, you all previous value will come here, then numerical solution for this one will be 136 by 0.5. As you know, 237. 273 by 2 is your rational number. So the output will be 136.5. Okay, come to here. That is 3 greater than 10. The answer will be 3 is greater than 10. That means it is checking. The, as we have uh, already seen that this is symbol is uh, your relational operator greater than equal to. So it will compare 3 and 10. It is greater than 10. No. So that output will be false. We I am assigning x 7. And the semicolon is there. So then semicolon is used for uh, your, if you don't want output at the time of your statement, then you have to use semicolon. So the output will not occur. So if I am removing uh, this semicolon, the output will be 7. It is semicolon is there that no output will occur. Another is uh, x equal to 7. Now you can see I am telling it x equal to 7. So that is comparison is there. Is x 7? Yes. In previous line, x assigned by 7 value, so 7 is equal to 7, yes, the answer will be true. So like this one. So you can understand each and every input, how you can do that. Now he see here, I am not using any semicolon after x assigning 3, but I am using set delay. Set delay means it will not execute this particular line without, without semicolon also. So x to the power 4 plus 4, the answer will be 3 to the power 4 plus 3, the total answer will be 84 like this one. Come to this one, this line input. I am using parenthesis for these two. 3 less than 5 and operator, that is logical operator. And that is 5 less than 3. So these two are relational operator. It will relate or to 3 to 5. Is it less than? Yes, it is true. So the answer will be true here. 5 is less than 3. No, the uh, value will be false and true and false will give you false as a logical operator works, right? So that is your false. Same, same way you can do on the 2 pi r value and the answer will be like this one. Okay. Uh, I have uh, chosen some mathematical functions for you. There may be, there may be so many functions, but let me uh, discuss you some functions so that you can easily work with uh, your Mathematica. Uh, trigonometric function are there, sine, cos, tan, sec, cosec, like this one. Arc sine means sine inverse. So if you want to calculate sine inverse for something, you have to write arc sine, A-R-C, S-I-N. So S is capital, A is capital. That is our second rule, right? So square bracket, you can pass input. EXP for exponential, log is there. Log, normal log is for uh, base E. Uh, if you want to base 10, then you have to write log 10. ABS for uh, your absolute value. SQRT that is basically for square root. You can round also some value, round off value. The mod is also there. That is 3 modular 2. Then you can uh, find out your remainder. So that is your mod function. You can calculate max also for a particular list. Now you can see I am using word list. That means the set of data. And the mean, the set of data you will put and the minimum value you will get whatever is in your list you can calculate gcd directly gcd all these letter are capital you can see so that is rule two gcd all are different letter that's why the all are capital lcm then you can choose random real factor inter integer you can do a factor for an integer you can create random real number you can uh, go to the prime and if, if you want to find out prime nth prime then you will give here output and you will get your prime the next prime command is there random prime divisor and power so let me give you example for all these commands like this one uh, 
the first one is sin 30 so i have uh, put it here n before your sin 30 what is the meaning of that when you will put put sin 30 the answer will be sin 30 itself but if you want to execute the sin 30 so you have to put n outer the your sin 30 so n is also one symbol or function so square bracket is needed n square bracket sin 30 in square bracket n square bracket close so that is sin 30 is input for your n and 30 is input for your sign so that is your complete expression and the output will be minus 0.988032 like this one same uh, if you want to execute your uh, trigonometric function with degree then you have to write degree word sin 30 and just space and degree so you will get sin 30 that is 1 by 2 like this one sin inverse 1 that is pi by 2 exponential 3 that is to the power 3 and then log 10 you have to create numerical value for that one that's why i am using n outer the your log 10 then you will get your 2.30 now you can see it's not log 1 because the uh, your base is e not 10 if i am using log 10 10 then the value will be 1 next is absolute value of minus 7 absolute that means you have to create all the your um, input as positive so it will be 7 Uh, next is square root sqrt please remember it the name of this abs for absolute sqrt square root that is standard name by using uh, c or c++ programming that's why they they put it same for uh, make easy for the people who are uh, working or who are coding in any language that's why they they put all the names same abs is same for any programming language sqrt is also same for any programming language so that's why they choose the same name sqrt so you will get your answer for your input 144 if you were writing mod that is 53 that means when you will divide 5 by 3 and the answer will be your remainder then the mod 53 will be 2 you can get minimum for your list now you can see here is some data 12,34, 48,92 and no curly bracket is there so that means direct data also is there so minimum value is 12 if you put curly bracket here before 12 and after 92 that is also one list of data the answer will be same if you will put curly brackets for suppose 12 and 34 and 48 and 92 separately that the answer will be answer same so that means listing data you can uh, work in uh, uh, directly or um, one dimensional or two dimensional you can work that also and the maximum is uh, your data is inside then the maximum num value that is your 78 the output will be like this one so you have to just give these command in your notebook and you will get all the your answers okay gcd you can do gcd for some elements and the your you will get your 5 25 10 15 like lcm the random real come to the random real the random real give you the any real number between 0 to 1 remember this the random real without any input see here i am not giving any input now so if you are not giving any input in your random real function or random real symbol then the any real number in between your range is 0 to 1 so be, between 0 to 1 any real number may, may be 0.5329 0.352 0.352 like this one the random real number will be generated to you if you want to uh, some range then you can give curly in curly bracket or uh, Uh, minimum or maximum value you can uh, see that syntax also i will tell you uh, about syntax how you can retrieve syntax and how you can work after just in built in functions uh, okay now uh, come to factor integer you can input any integer and you will get the all the factors all the factors the way is 2 into 2 means 2 to the power 2 3 into 2 3 and 2 means 3 to the power 2 so basically 2 to the power 2 and 3 to the power 2 this will be create your uh output for that one some prime number is there okay um okay this output may may not be for this one maybe my mistake and i may i have written this so you can check factor integration uh, that is a uh, 2 times 2 times or 3 times like this one okay prime 5 is there uh 5 input will give you the fifth prime number prime 5 that is fifth prime number that will be your 11 next prime is if you are giving you some input and you want to create the next prime for example you want to uh, check what is the next prime after 
500. So it will give you the answer. Next prime, you have to give input here as 500 and you will get your answer. Random prime, you can calculate random prime and you can give the range here like this one. Uh, 10 to 20 so in between 10 and 20 you can get random prime and the pseudo random prime will be generated 13 like this one or any in between these two so in between 10 or 20 you have prime numbers 11 13 uh, 17 19 so anyone uh, will appear here so you can calculate all the divisors and the divisors are 1 3 5 9 15 27 45 1 3 5 so all the um, divisors will be occur and you can use the power function also 3 to the power 2 so the power function is there you can use that also some boolean output functions also there in mathematica for example number q uh, if you want to check any number that uh, is it a number or not then that is number q if you want to check integer if it is the uh, input is num integer or not then you have to use integer q prime q co prime q even q odd q like this one so that means you 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 can easily understand that uh, same uh, output is true or false and uh, the checking way is q capital q is there number q integer q real q prime q co prime q even q the same pattern we, uh, the mathematica is following so that we can easily understand and easily learn is a number is something or not so prime q will check your number is prime or not Co prime q will check the two numbers are related uh, to co prime or not the number is even or not odd number is odd or not like this one and uh, number is divisible by something or not that is will also there is no q but right some other function also there divisible but uh, it doesn't have q so some expect exceptional cases also there for different function but uh, i put it i categorize myself these are not cat categorized by mathematica i categorize uh, these functions for my easy understanding or easy teaching. So that is number Q. So 1, 2, 3 is number. Yes, true. Integer Q, 3.5 is integer. No, the answer is false. Prime Q, 37 is prime. Yes or not? Yes, true. Co prime, 10 or 13 is co prime. Yes, because GCD for these two, 10 or 13 is 1. That's why the co prime and the answer is true. Even Q, that is uh, 49. No, that is false. Odd Q, this number is odd or not. Yes, this is odd. So that's why answer is true. And the divisible 8, 9, 7, 6 into 3, comma 3, that means 3 will divide this number. So this number is divisible by 3, yes or not. So if you want to check that answer, then you can use divisible uh, command and uh, answer will be true. Another is numerical computational function. That means numerically you can solve different type of uh, things. For example, you want to calculate minimize or you want to maximize some functions. You find the minimum. That is find minimum is, minimum is for local minimum. If you have gone through the calculus and uh, then local minima is there. So then you have to use find minimum for local minimum. Find maximum for local maximum if you find the minimize you have to minimize function that is completely minimizing value and some particular minimum minimum uh, point okay the nearest is there and sum is numerical sum find root is also there find root and linear programming also there so let me give you example for these minimize this function 2x square minus 3x plus 5 with respect to x so the answer will be 31 by 8 and the point is 3 by 4. So this function will be minimum at the value 3 by 4. That is the way the output. Maximize this function minus 2x square minus 3x plus 5 with respect to x. So the maximum value is 49 by 8 and the answer for this maximum value the point answer is minus 3 by 4. And the nearest is so you have some particular list. List means in curly bracket. Remember always list range all will come in your curly bracket. So that is list of some elements 2, 5, 7, 16, 20. And uh, you have to find the nearest element to 15. So after list just comma and 15. That means you have to find out nearest element to this element. So 15. The nearest is 16. So answer will be 16. N sum is numerical sum. Without N also you can do. So without uh, N it will be in rational form. Maybe in uh, rational form if it is rational. Otherwise if you put N sum also there or uh, in bracket also. If 
n square bracket then the uh, value will be same and sum is another symbol another function so you can uh, use directly n sum answer will be like this one 0 0.01 you can uh, find root also the command is find root so x square minus 5x plus 6 is there i have to give the curly bracket x and starting value so basically find root work on newton's uh, method um, if some of you have gone through the numerical analysis, there are method to finding root, bisection method, Newton method, secant or a different method are there, regular falsy like this one. These are the names. So in find root, you can uh, use Newton formula is uh, applied in Mathematica. So you have to give some starting root. So that is x comma and your any value you can put any any value not just zero you can put it here five six or ten whatever you want to uh, put it here as an input so the find root will occur and the root value will be displayed as your output next is linear programming linear programming that is one two comma comma something comma something that is three things are there c m and b so like these two linear programming and minimize these two function are for the same same query so come to the minimize first then i can uh, solve my linear programming problem with minimize function also so i can minimize x plus 2y is my z function and the constants are 3x plus 4y greater than or equal to 5 and and operator means you have to add more equations so that's why i'm using and uh, x greater than 0 and operator y greater than 0 so this is the same problem as putting here you can see that is x plus 2y that is 1 and 2 here 1 and 2 3x plus 4y greater than or equal to 5 so the matrix is 3 and 4 so you have to write matrix in two dimensional that's why i am using two curly bracket here as I have already discussed, the matrix is two-dimensional, so I will, I will put uh, two-dimensional here. If it is two equations, 3x plus 4y greater than 5, uh, 9x minus 6y greater than uh, 10, like this one. So I have to put comma and other list inside is it in two-dimensional way. And uh, 5 is here, that is your B column, so B will come here. So this is the way, this is the syntax for uh, writing your linear programming. So that is your answer. In minimize, you will get answer like this, 5 by 3, the minimum value is 5 by 3, and uh, uh, point R, x is equal to 5 by 3, y is equal to 0. When you will do a linear programming, it will not show you the minimum value, but it will show you the points. x is 5 by 3, y is 0, like this one. But in minimize, you will get the minimum, minimum value also. So that is the difference between linear programming command and minimize command. So I think that it will be clear to you. And uh, other function you can use some product and uh, some sort. You can do some like and some I have already discussed. You can do product also. You can sort any list, uh, mean, median, or mod. For mod, uh, they have used commonest. So commonest command is there for your mod. Mod basically is uh, the your frequency. Huh? The higher frequency element is called as mod. I don't know so much <laughs> stat, uh, but you can use. So I have chosen uh, some um, particular function or symbols, variation and uh, covariance and uh, correlation like this one. Variance, covariance and the correlation. You can use these uh, also, uh, but I don't know much about your uh, stat, but uh, all functions are there. So you can go through this also. So give, let me give you some example here. Sum is some function, some symbol, i to the power, I to the power 2, and the range is i from 1 to 10. The answer will be over. So now you can see here the syntax is the put function here, then comma, and the range. So range is basically in curly bracket, and start from the symbol i, whatever you are using in your expression i, i and the starting range that is 1 then the ending range that is 10 so i to i square i from 1 to 10 the value will be 385 same way you can do the product i to the power 3 from range uh, 1 to 5 you you know product na pi pi way the capital pi is your product and the summation is your sum like this one okay another is your sort uh, sort you can do sort but in sort you have to apply list you cannot uh, write data directly without curly bracket 12 34 4 16 it will not uh, make uh, output for you uh, you have to give your curly brackets so the curly brackets remember it whenever you are writing sort you have to give curly brackets and then data or you can create a list before and then you can put it here uh, 
so you will get some type of uh, answer if you want to uh, sort in the uh, greater first then you have to use comma greater word is there g capital like degree in your sign 30 uh, degree d was capital the g is capital so the rule is same whenever you are writing any word any optional word the rule is same the first letter is capital okay so you will get reverse the 34 16 12 and 4 you can find out mean for particular list or particular value so 2 4 6 8 10 the mean will be 6 as, as you can add all these and divided by 5 elements is there so 5 then the answer will be 6 median you can find out for some list that is 4 commonest means the highest frequency there is 2 2 2 3 times so so the mode is uh, 2 so basically the name for that one is the highest frequency is commonest you can find out uh, variance also uh, for some particular data or particular list and the answer will be like this one okay thank you so much that was the our presentation